Supreme Court. When you have a minute, if you could politely explain to me what the hell y'all are doing up there, because I am quite confused. It just seems like this whole pro-life agenda involves viewing things for what they have the potential to be instead of just viewing them for how they actually are, and it's giving counterproductivity. It just seems like if we were to base our daily actions off of the pro-life agenda, that would have us doing some very weird shit. Things like... I don't know, uh, putting eggs in the grass and calling that a chicken farm. Or placing an engine in the driveway and telling our kids, happy 16th, here's your first car. Or dropping off a bag of flour, shredded cheese, and marinara and calling it a pizza delivery. Or looking at a seed and calling it a tree. I find it interesting how politicians say every seed matters and how we need to plant more trees when they refuse to provide sufficient resources for the trees this country already has. Our trees' roots have been poisoned, deprived of water, subjected to deforestation. Politicians care so much about the seeds, but they don't give a fuck about the trees they become. Sarah Sanders has the audacity to say, well, when those little saplings are in the soil, we'll make sure they feel as safe as they would in the forest. As if the forests are burning in fire right before our eyes because these thoughts and prayers take the rightful place of the fire ban that should have been implemented decades ago. It makes no sense to call a seed a tree when so many of our nation's trees have been brutally chopped down before their time and are now buried in the very soil that is supposedly nourishing this next generation of saplings. So when politicians have the audacity to say, well, all those sap that saplings that you extract from the soil could have found the cure for cancer because that argument is weaker than a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. But since we're on the topic, two can play at that game. The tree that was more than qualified for her med school that you turned down simply because of her name could have cured cancer. The queer tree that was bullied into suicide could have cured cancer. I almost was that tree. The young growing trees of Uvalde Elementary could have cured cancer. But before we cure cancer, we need to chop down the cancer that's running our court system, poisoning our roots with their oppression, causing our forests to go extinct like like, sir, Mr. Supreme Court Justice, mm. please explain how you're going to regulate our trees when your bark is rotting away as we speak and it looks like your old ass is going to collapse on the forest floor any minute now. So you know what? Go right ahead. Look at an egg, call it a chicken. Look at a bag of flour, call it a pizza. Look at an engine, call it a car. Look at a seed and call it a tree. Do what you gotta do. But until the leaders of this country are willing to cultivate America's seeds of potential and turn this country into a sustainable environment for every tree of every forest, inside and outside of the soil, then this country will forever be seen as an environment that leaves this forest barren, burned out, and forever praying for a true hero to finally come to our rescue, put out this nation's fires, and finally start to clean up this whole goddamn mess. All right. All right.